How did you start your trading career? What made you choose trading? I've been interested actually in the markets from a very young age. I had a um, great uncle who was one of the more successful traders, investors in the United States. Um, and at a very young age, uh, my father explained to me what he did, and it seemed very interesting. And so even, I think I made my first trade when I was probably 13 or 14 years old. I bought an airline stock at the time. And um, so I was interested from a very young age. And what happened was, after college, I was in law school. And I actually was going to law school at night. Um, and I started trading during the day. Um, and my roommate from college actually got me an interview and helped me get my first trading job. What was the first firm you have started trading with? Can you tell me about the available firms at the time? And uh, what your trading fees uh, were when you first started trading? The first firm that I actually started trading for was back in 1996, the beginning of 96. And at the time, this was an upstart start firm which built uh, their own proprietary technology, which was cutting edge at the time. And we traded um, exclusively on the NASDAQ stock market. And we did about 5 or 6% of the, the average vol the daily volume on the NASDAQ. Um, at the time, it was very unusual. If you wanted a job as a trader, um, for the most part, you had to go work at one of the large banks. So the, this, this firm actually was uh, not one of the large banks. It was a firm that basically got access to the markets. There were the, the market um, was made by the government to make new rules to give more access to more participants. And so this firm took advantage of these new rules and very quickly grew from a firm of 10 traders to several hundred um, over a few years, and that's where I got my start. It was ex very expensive when I started to trade. Every thousand shares that I traded cost about thirty dollars. Um, they're thirty dollars, and so now the cost of trading today um, can range anywhere from one dollar to a few dollars for every thousand shares you trade. So um, I remember early in my career, one particular month I spent about eighty thousand dollars just on my my trading fees. Luckily, for that month I actually. My, my profit was greater than $80,000, but it was very expensive. So today, um, whenever I hear young traders complaining about fees and costs and things like that, it's hard for me not to laugh. What was buying power you started with in the beginning? And what buying power do you use or have today? Sure, so it's a long time ago. It's almost 20 years ago, but I'm pretty sure that the first firm that I traded for gave me a little bit more than $1 million to start with. That was the standard amount, which was a lot at the time. And I think that they gave us so much buying power to begin with because they wanted to see how traders would behave under pressure right from the start. Um, and those that didn't perform well were very quickly fired. So it was a lot, I mean, looking back on it, it's hard to imagine why they would give me over a million dollars to trade with to begin with, um, but they did. Today, uh, I use more buying power than that, and I believe on a daily basis, our firm from, on most days is, is using a, probably a couple of hundred million dollars in buying power. Have you worked in other financial areas? I have not, um, strictly, strictly in trading. My undergraduate degree was in business, and so I, I considered going into banking and consulting and things like that, um, but instead decided to go to law school. And while I was law school, well, as I said, while I was in law school, I began trading. And you know, the thing about trading versus the other jobs in finance, you actually your your performance dictates um, your living, how well, how much money you can make, and how well you do. Um, and so, and, and pretty much all the other jobs in finance. It's really about crunching numbers and spreadsheets, and there's no, really no accountability for your performance. And so, to me, uh, trading is the most appealing of the jobs in finance for that reason. How did you meet your partner, Mike Bellafiore? Mike and myself actually grew up in the same uh, village um, outside of New York City, about an hour and a half outside of New York City. So I knew him from a very young age. So at the beginning of my trading career, as I mentioned, um, I got the interview and the job through a friend of mine through, through college. We were both in business school together. And um, Mike was actually in law school while I was trading. And I said to him, you know, trading is a lot more interesting, a lot more fun than practicing law. You should consider when you graduate um, coming and working at the firm where, where I was working. And he got an interview. And after he graduated law school, he began his trading career. 